when I came out of my house this morning, I expected, you know, to see one of those ride chair, you know, things. And all I saw was the Rolls Royce Phantom and my brother. I was like, what are you doing here? I'm so happy. You know what? I can't believe you actually showed up. I just can't believe it. And then the Phantom yet. I don't know which is the Phantom, you or the car. I never intend on I'm not doing it, but I did enjoy torturing you about it a little bit. I know you love torturing me. Meanwhile, you kept me up all last night. You want me to come there and hold your hand? Yes. Not happening. Thanks. <laughs> I knew there'd be a no in there somewhere. <laughs> Mommy used to tell me, since I live across from the cemetery, that she would just forget the limos and the hearses. She said she'd get a wheelbarrow and just roll me across the street. That sounds like a money-saving proposition. That's, that's what I said. Nothing, I, wrong, nothing wrong with that. Actually, I suggested it to her, and then she got kind of, like, loved the idea. Melinda was so surprised when she saw that car and me outside. She almost fainted. You can't not take your family to something like that. My, my whole intention was, you know, really to try to get closer to my brother. And um, so far, you know, we're progressing a little bit, a step at a time. Actually, um, am I feeling any more family-oriented? No. About the same. Whatever you say, honey. Oh, I gotta go by. Nice Jeep. How's it going? I'm Ricky. I'm Ted. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Wow. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. Is this something I'm supposed to buy for you, or you'd like to sell me, or? Yeah, I came uh, to see if maybe we can make a deal. OK. I'd like to sell it to you, for sure. You want to sell it straight out? Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. So Tell it's me. a 77 CJ5. It's a V8, isn't it? It's a V8. You heard it? I heard it. <laughs> it got me out of my chair. I said, yeah. come on. The market on the CJ5 is, is, is from the ground to the sky, depending on the car. You know, that's a V8. You can hear it immediately. So that's a better car. And I like the way the car is lifted. I like the way the interior is beautiful in it. There's not much to complain about. It's a great car, and it's a very sellable car. Well, everyone knows Ted, so I decided to come here today to see if maybe I could get some good money for the Jeep. I think for the right person, the car is maybe worth $25,000. i am probably not going to get it. Ted could probably get it. But, you know, the absolute lowest I think I'm going to accept for the car is maybe... 17, 5, 18, around there. I really don't want to go much lower than that. So it's a original 304 V8. They only made them, I think, for about four or five years with a V8 in it, so it's pretty rare. It's a Renegade. Right. And I've owned it for about 10 years, just little by little, fixing it up. I've done a bunch of work to the car, thankfully, throughout the years before parts were even that expensive. So I don't have much into it now. But I have done wheels, exhaust, the lift kit, the whole entire thing of how you see it now. I've done it all just little by little throughout the years. Well, it looks like you've done a good job. Thank you. Now, is it going to be something I can afford to buy? That's the question. I'm looking to get 25 for it. I'm looking for my hair to grow back. Me too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, we're family. So, bald connection. <laughs> Let's make a deal. Yeah, but uh, not at that. You know, honestly, uh, I don't want to insult you. I mean, I know you like it. Let me look a little more. Maybe I can think of more money. I don't know. <laughs> Take a look around. I will. Once I told Ted 25000 he was a little shocked, but I get it. His business is to buy cars and then make money on them selling it. So did I expect for him to come back and say, OK, done deal? No. But I tried it, gave it a shot. In my opinion, for me to make a buck on the Jeep, I got to be somewhere between ten and 15000 to make money. It's probably worth more than that. I hope it is. But that's where I got to be to buy it. And I like it. If I didn't like it, I'd want to pay less. You stand next to this car, and you can sell this for a million bucks. <laughs> you're kind. <laughs> you're full of crap, but you're kind. Um, I, I, I really like the car. OK. OK. But I don't think that I can pay any more than low teens for it. I want to I wanna be able to resell it. I don't want to keep it. I have cars to buy. I understand. I know that's your business. Yeah. Good thing is I don't have too much money into it. So That's good. Uh, I bought it 10 years ago when they were worth nothing. You know, you can pretty much name your price on a Jeep if it's clean. An older one like that, it just depends on what the traffic will bear. Jeeps have a worldwide appeal. Everywhere you go, there's a Jeep community. There's always a group of people running with their Jeeps, mudding with the Jeeps. It's just a fun car. It's really a youthful car. Just how there's a Jeep community, there's a bald community. 
both Ted and I are bald, and I really think that's going to help us out. We have that connection already. He's got to make a deal with me. Ricky, the interior is gorgeous. Thanks. I, I mean, I redid the interior, and, and I drive this Jeep almost every day. So you're buying something that's going to be reliable. Whoever buys it off you, I, they don't, I'm buying you're not going to have an issue. I'm buying something if the price is right where I can afford to resell it and make something. I'm not collecting this car. I got to buy it to sell it. So in my opinion, it's for me to make money in this car, not to hit you low or try to lowball you, I'd like to be 15 grand and buy the car. Um, I, I don't see much profit after that. I don't think you're going to see any profit because if you, if you buy it, you're probably going to end up keeping it. I think I'll drive my Phantom, to be honest with you. I, I like it better. I like it too. Maybe we could do a trade for the Phantom. Uh, nah. <laughs> Ted, uh, I think you got to come up a little bit more than that, and then we can make a deal happen. I'm up at 25. Just come up a little bit higher. I, I wish I didn't like it, because I really do like it. I, I think everything you've done is really right. Uh, I don't know. 16 grand will do it. Let's do 17. Bald connection. Come on. Bald connection the, the glare, at 17. The glare. Come on. The glare. Let's make it happen. 17. 17. Oh, Woo. Just because of that. <laughs> let's do it. Come on, let's go do some paperwork. You got me. That's funny. The bald connection. Ted hit me with 15. Then we went to 16. Thankfully, we have the bald connection. We made it happen at 17. It was a good deal. We're both happy. You know, Jeeps, Jeeps are fun and they're very marketable. And I bought it to sell. Uh, I'm going to have a little fun with it before I sell it, but I'm going to sell it. It's what I do.